Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all. A little bit of everything. Peter Schiff wants Bitcoin to go to zero to prove a point, I guess. And um, I have seen many interviews he's done on YouTube. And usually when it comes to Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency, it's a negative aspect that he's point of view through Bitcoin. And he's a big believer in gold. So I wanted to find out a little bit more on why he's so against Bitcoin and his son. I didn't know he have a son that go all the way in and to Bitcoin. And he be, he said his son is completely wrong for going all the way in and to Bitcoin. So let me read a few paragraphs to know why he's really not into Bitcoin. I have seen this interview between him and this other guy. Oh my God, they go at it. They like to big bowl bowl like going at it you know like trying to give each other's point on why they don't like it and why this one is the best this one is not good so let me see what i can get from that is peter schiff against bitcoin because he is a global globalist insider shill when mainstream media tries to drag Bitcoin name through the mud, we get it. The mainstream media is owned by the same general group of people who own everything else, including governments and central banks. Of course, they are going to do everything they can to make Bitcoin look as bad as possible. It makes sense. And they've done that. Now, declaring Bitcoin dead 140 times... And that's when they aren't trying to associate Bitcoin with things like the CIA's drugs running business or terrorist financing, which best friends forever, BFF, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump do on a daily basis. But when those not, when those not normally associated with the globalists try to say and do anything to demand bitcoin it makes you wonder whose team they are on we've highlighted the health ranger mike adams more often than even we would care to bother but an even bigger name bitcoin hater needs to be scrutinized peter schiff <laughs> he is a bitcoin hater many people who read the dollar vigilant tdv tend to think of schiff as being one of the good guys he's been a gold bug forever and tdv has also been promoting gold and silver since our inception Schiff was all over mainstream media using his knowledge to of Austrian economics to warn of the financial crisis to come prior to 2008. That's how he became a big name. And we are also massive proponents of Austrian economics and in general, we agree with most of Peter's prognostication of the markets in another common crisis. But Schiff has Bitcoin's biggest critics for years and not even with any reasonable analysis. <laughs> he has actually compared Bitcoin, the massively complex cryptographic largest supercomputer in the world to Benny Babies. And not back in 2013, when perhaps he could be forgiven for being so naive and ignorant, he said that this year, <laughs> some claim that he bashes Bitcoin because Bitcoin competes with his gold-related business. But even if this is the case, it is hurting his business now, much more than it is helping it. Here is a recent Facebook post by Peter bashing Bitcoin again, but take notice of all the comments. Does this mean the bear market and Bitcoin is already over and that Bitcoin and all the 
digital currencies will soon be making new heights? Or is this recovery nothing more than a bear market rally? Hard to say for sure, but there certainly is a large risk that is the later. But even if the bubble get bigger before it pops, that does not change the fact that it is a bubble or that Bitcoin will never deliver on its promises to function as the money of the future. That's Peter Schiff. What can we expect? Bitcoin saws as miners finally move to slowly the digital currency's scaling problem. Okay. He posts that on uh, Facebook. Who who still use uh, Facebook at this time? I don't even know. Anyhow, I wanted to let you guys know that the biggest hater want Bitcoin to go to zero. I guess to prove a point. And um, maybe I'm ignoring of certain things. I don't know everything. I'm learning every day as it goes. I don't understand the purpose of gold. Seriously. At least the Bitcoin, you have it on your phone. Wherever you go, you could pay for stuff for it. It's not yet been adapted all over the world, but little by little, it will eventually get there. If you can put Bitcoin on your phone, you can download it. I think this is the future. Cryptocurrency is going to take over. He has right to deny or not care for Bitcoin. Gold will never be able to download on a phone. (laughs) <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. And I hope his son that go all the way in into crypto can prove him wrong because how can you hate something so much you want it to go down to zero? We have people that invest so much money in crypto. When Bitcoin was 50000 I remember watching Uncle Larry, Larry John, and he said one of his friends had just purchased one Bitcoin for $50,000. Now, I'm looking at the price today. I said, oh, my God, those people who purchase Bitcoin so high must be in so much pain right now, you know, so much pain. To buy it at 69000 when it was at its peak, at its highest, thinking it was going to get to 100000 and thinking it's going to get to $1 million or, or $500,000, that's a lot of money, you know, to be gone in a minute. A three trillion dollar market cap for cryptocurrency period last year is now eight hundred, eight hundred and fifty, based on how the day gone. A lot of money been gone, and for people to hate something so bad that you want the worst out of it, like what kind of human being is that? You know, how can you be so childish or selfish? It just doesn't make any sense. Anyhow, I just wanted to let you guys know how Peter Schiff felt about. Bitcoin, he hates it so much, he wants it to go to zero. And this is so unbelievable. Don't forget to subscribe. Quick Tom Rishi does it all. A little bit of everything. Happy New Year. Bye.